Hi, and welcome to Ask the RV Expert. I'm Chris Doherty, technical editor for RVTravel.com, and I'm joined by Rob Heckenass, program manager for Xantrex. Rob, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Chris, for having me. Certainly. We've got a question here from Chuck, who's, who writes in asking, how feasible is it to supply 120 volts AC from their truck's 12 volt DC power supply using a pure sine wave inverter. His truck has two 220 amp alternators and a large capacity battery bank. He can either install an inverter in the truck or in the RV. Uh, a significant issue he, see, he says is the wiring size, either DC or AC, and a flexible connection to go between the truck and the RV. Uh, this installation would save the use of the propane in the refrigerator while he's going down the road would also be safer not having it on and would allow the operation of one roof air conditioner in his coach while he's underway. Rob, what do you think of that? Well, it's definitely on the right course. Um, the, the key parts to these things is that the inverter has to draw a lot of current, 10 times the current compared to the AC system from the battery. So the inverter really needs to be as close as reasonably possible to the battery system or the, you know, the source of the alternator battery system in the truck. So mounting the inverter in the bed of the truck near the cab, for example, probably does make a lot more sense. Um, big alternators, fantastic. Big battery bank in the, in the truck, that's good. Um, that AC power can be run back to the trailer and uh, basically run the fridge uh, and the rooftop air conditioning if, uh, if it's uh, appropriately sized. So it's definitely the right way to go. The alternate way is to go DC, but I, Generally speaking, it makes it quite cumbersome because you have to run a very high current, like easily 100 or even, even more amp lines uh, from the tr front of the truck, from the alternator system, all the way to the back bumper. You could use Anderson double D type connectors, uh, which are you know commonly available there, but you have very heavy cables going back there. You've got water ingress issues. Those are not sealed type connectors. And then you're gonna run that heavy cable back over the trailer again over to uh, run the, uh, the AC systems and the, and the appliances. So definitely I would mount the inverter in the truck itself because that's the source of the actual uh, DC power that we need. Okay, great. Well, Rob, thank you very much for joining us again. Thanks so much for asking some great questions.